Ah, all right. Search the underground passage for clues. God damn, traveler, stop yawning, you narcoleptic nilly. Welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of Genshin Impact, where a crime finally occurred and action happened, except not real action, because I haven't gotten to hit anybody yet, so I'm just going to swing festering desire around for a little bit. But yeah, we're the searching for clues now, and oh lord, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's start with this ladder, the mysterious ladder. It's required in order to return to the magic box above. Interesting. Okay, okay. Control board. This should be the control device for the trolley. It seems to be able to operate automatically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Uh, this thing, grappling hook, of course, used to grapple one's way out of a tricky situation. Uh, yeah, I should cry. Mm hmm. I mean, this is like a prop room from the looks of it. He didn't mention this earlier. It was a prop for a different mm -hmm. trick. But why would it have been left here? Good question. Whatever it is, let's make a note of it first. Uh, dropped hook rope. Hmm. What would it have been used for? Wouldn't have anything to do with the water tank, because, I mean, that definitely wouldn't fucking support the water tank. Uh, oh, a broken vase. Interesting. And a woman's the dress. <laughs> Thank you for that, that observation, sir. Why would there be water here? Maybe it was for a trick. I mean, who's doing trips, trips, tricks down here with no one to watch? Maybe they use the vase to fill up the that big tank. Trolley moves along tracks from start to finish. It couldn't have hit the vase at this distance. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's note this down too and think about it later. That's definitely a later problem, I agree. Broken flower vase. And a woman's lingerie. Let's see what this is all about. Definitely not what she was wearing. Far too Oh, okay, never mind that was what she was wearing. Is that really all she was wearing? I all right. Didn't mention the guests having a wardrobe change. And do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? Mm -hmm. Ugh, this is so confusing. Hana doesn't want to be a detective anymore. When did your glasses get filled out like that? I don't remember. I thought you could see through the glasses all this time. <laughs> Am I crazy? When did that change? All right, whatever. Uh, tracks. High precision is required to complete this magic show, and the tracks are perfect for making the trolley stay on its designate. What a, what astounding evidence. Uh, this, a box used for storage. It is very good at storing props and costumes. Good. All right. And then the others. A vent. Interesting. Someone could have Tom Clancy their way through there. The trolley is crucial for transporting the magic box to the other side. The culprit must have fucking whatever, <laughs> I guess. The ventilation system, on the other hand. It, it's a vent. What do you mean this place? Like, you've entered into a whole new world. Someone could fit through here. Yeah, once again, overly large vents. Been the suspect's escape route? Mm -hmm. Alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person... Too like narrow. The they could do that. I mean, what if the people that are disappearing are the ones that are kidnapping themselves? Huh? See? Uh, they could have gone through the magic boxes, though. But Linny and Lynette were in the two magic boxes. Okay, the fucking swirly bits disappear from the glasses again. Tunnel vent, okay, yeah. Probably just so people can breathe down here, makes sense. Alright, time to return to the surface. I'll say just about done. We're done. I am done. Yeah, uh, I didn't want to examine the ladder to fucking... I wanted to climb it, not just look at it. God... I wondered, like, because this little subterranean tunnel would have already existed, like, all this time before, with its, like, you know, exit being here in the middle of the, the walkway. Would people never have, like, noticed there's, like, a hatch? I guess it would have been covered by the uh, the carpet. Probably just, like, yeah, like, an actual just storage area. But if this is also, like, the trial zone, that's where I'm confused. Like, why do they have it to begin with? But it's, you know, theatric trial. Since the vent leads to the opera house's basement. Why don't we check out the opera house's basement, too? No one left through 
the basement during the performance mm. or after I still haven't gone to where all the uh, I was gonna say other criminals are at um what do they call it again uh -huh. but yeah no uh, the other the other uh, God, what are they called circus hands freaks Holzer's disappearance and Cowell's death Yes, yes, quite, quite indeed. I we are so confident in our accusation. Mm. All the current evidence points toward Lenny and Lynette. More like it points to an absolute mystery to me. The real plot twist to all this is that Lenny and Lynette actually are guilty. So if the charges are upheld, they'll announce a sentence? Yes, the death sentence. Right. This is how a trial goes in the Opera House. During the proceedings, the Chief Justice and the Oratrice We'll hear statements from both sides. The oratrice? Right. This is how indemnityum is produced. Statements from I both sides. Hate that. <laughs> Y'all really found the best way to get the most eco economic bang for your buck out of the whole trial business. It's as if the oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. Mm hmm. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the Chief Justice. Yeah, I actually trust the Chief Justice more than I trust the giant, like, set of cogs. The Chief Justice will make his final decision. This, too, will be used by the Oratrice as a reference. And, finally, the Oratrice will be consulted by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. Why is no one ever worried that the robots they make... Uh, for judging crimes might not be the smartest idea. Hmm. I just feel like a machine is manipulable enough that you wouldn't want to leave it to these types of decisions. Oh, fucking, someone better bring catering. Because we've chosen to act as the twins proxies. Uh. That makes us persons related to the case. Oof. They're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties. Or that we might find Fair. outside to disrupt the case. And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. Mm. I'm ready to break out at any time. <laughs> I love you, Silver. <laughs> I'm ready to murder whenever it comes down to it. Absolutely not. I just hope you don't mind the lack of options. I'm afraid that catering to all tastes is not in the cards, nor is any guarantee of balanced nutrition. Great. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to I mean, I'm not gonna die here. That's Lenny. Lenny's gonna die here. What better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? Uh-huh. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. Paimon food is not that important. Just kidding. Paimon will still do her best, even if there are no snacks. Jesus, get a cliff bar or something. What do you mean, no snacks? Of course we'll have snacks. If we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. Uh, out of what, Geo? <laughs> what are you gonna do about that? Understood, demoiselle. Everyone, please come with me. Oh, we're we just gonna go to, like, the kitchen. Wow, the Chief Justice's thing has it all. I guess court, Wait, that would be what it is called. Oh, yes, I mean, I'm not one to talk. I do that too. Whenever? Okay. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. Oh, like now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Oh, she cooks. Oh, that's nice. I hope she knows how to cook. I'll say, oh no, I just realized something. Sorry, I'm being distracted by my, uh, by my work again. Um, there's an all hands meeting happening, but there's, there's another thing happening in that room if I remember right. How did they manage to, how did they manage to set this up? Let's see. Hmm. That is curious. That is incredibly curious. I'm gonna have to send a message about that. Sorry, I'm being dis distracted. Uh, Spina de Rosalie thing, I guess. Oh, macarons. 
Oh, those look like burgers. <laughs> Candy burgers. They're giant, too. My god. Same with that cup of tea. That's a bowl of soup. They do not know how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> I love silver. I love these two. They're great. They're my favorite NPCs. Well, it's not really a dress, is it? Yeah, in this world, we don't believe in sexism. Now I know how to make a macaron. I hope they taste like shit. Oh, why do they have faces? Well, eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? Maybe that's the type of uh, rush I need to solve the case. Thanks, brother. Why don't you take a break? Hmm. All right. Cool snack break. I'm so tempted. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I think this will be my last one I do for maybe the day. Yeah, probably for the day, because I got a lot of shit to do this afternoon. I am going to be playing some Saints Row 2. I might stream that too, actually. That'll be fun. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. Mm -hmm. Magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course, but they lack any logical motive. Yeah, honestly, like, you think that would be enough. We left two other people, the missing girl and the deceased. The and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel, mm -hmm. resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. It's getting a little, a little too saucy for me. Since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. I don't even remember, like, if those were the clothes. I thought it looked, like, completely different. I don't remember they were even purple. Uh, we have no evidence of this third person. None of the clues we found thus far support the existence of this third person. But the only people we have to consider Oop. are both... Sorry, I'm throwing my charger cable all over the place. We keep calling him Poor Cowl. What if he was the villain? <laughs> she had no way of knowing how the magic trick worked. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire trick to pull it off. Nor does she have any motive. We haven't really the talked about why the random number generator is set to just the one error. We should have asked Lenny and Lynette about that. Probably not. No, it's just one that doesn't have a great answer, though. I think it's dumb that we're blaming uh, Lenny and Lynette for this. Sorry, not we. Uh, Farina? Oh, what are they doing over there? They're beating each other's meat. I thought there was only three. Maybe the mystery thief stole them. Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. Mm. No, no. Being greedy is one thing, but Paimon knows how to count. Oh, wait. Maybe this is like a weird... Hmm. Maybe this is some weird thing where shit just disappears. Everyone knows how much you love eating. Uh, yeah, I'm blaming Paimon for this. It's only two macarons. Jeez. And then she just dies. This is going to be the weirdest piece of evidence, I bet. This is actually important. It bothers me. <laughs> oh god. The whole rigmarole happens all over again. But, but, okay, whatever. Shouldn't we all technically be able to have five? Hmm? Yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while to make them, too. Again? <laughs> You only make macarons, don't you? Okay, well... <laughs> just for two missing macarons. Can't believe it. 
going to have another look around the area. I should probably do something productive too, I guess. Uh, she is a geo wielder. Uh -huh. I suggest the two of you think the case over again. Fine. I hope that doesn't happen. Just shits on stage. Oh god. Yeah, be I'm gonna miss those two NPCs. And her. I'm gonna miss all three of them, actually. I, I really like their whole little trio. Uh, probability of a third person being involved, but who the fuck knows who. Just a, It's gonna be some mysterious being. Something from beyond the veil. Something that perhaps is just a bit of a salty bitch. Well, I actually have to, like, sp spend my time waiting in here, don't I? Yeah, hold on. While preparing happens, I'm gonna get into what's her face is seating. All right, we're ready for the trip. You're still wearing those fucking glasses. Mm. Let's take things step by step. I doubt this is gonna be like Dank and Rampa, where I can actually like fuck it up and like game over. Yeah, we're the good guys. Yeah, some god of justice. Can't even have omnipotence. Omniscience? Forget which is which. Yeah. Wait, you're not gonna come up here with us? Come on, help us out, man. Is this, is the trial just like happening here? Are we getting an audience? I feel like if this whole stage is gonna be like, or if the whole thing with being on trial is it's gonna be a stage play, we should have an audience. Well, how did your investigation You're going to jail. You might be disappointed. No, no. We're already very grateful that yeah. you are willing to help. Well, now, don't oh, you Jesus. Don't tell me that your Trina, came up go fuck off or something. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof You didn't of even innocence. prove- You don't even have any guilt that proves <laughs> them guilty. <laughs> Jeez. It's guilty and- Or innocent till proven guilty. Oh, Whoops, I almost had the wrong one there. Uh, just you Since wait, bitch. Present, I declare that the uh, the is now we don't get- Oh, we do have an audience. Never mind. I, I didn't see their tiny faces. Yeah, ruin yes, the magic. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. Oh. All the necessary items we even have another person we can kill in order to make it realistic. <laughs> oh, no. Then we have to do an actual murder trial. Oh, thank God they just did it like that. statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Seems like an open and shut yes, case to me. Correct. We're done here. Bye. In that case, I call upon the prosecution, Lady Farina. Do you wish to refuse? <laughs> He's just like tired of dealing with his like uh, Farina. Does she usually work as a prosecution? You, can you just outright say, like, they're lying with no evidence? Uh, okay, but what's, where's the evidence to back it up? I see Lenny knows what's up. A countdown and a thump. Oh, the what? roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. I love the music going on in the background. Don't, Linny. It's a trap. Say a thump. No, nothing. Hmm. But when the count reached thirty seconds or so, there was a thud. Hey, why am I not allowed to jump in here? Why can't I say objection? What? I was deaf. Was it at 30 seconds? How could Lenny not know about the sound? Uh, was the thing soundproof? Hmm. Well, it definitely wouldn't be soundproof because then he wouldn't be able to hear the countdown. Oh shit, we actually get to see how we're losing. That represents the Oratrice's stance on the trial. Oh god, she's so obnoxious. 
I hope the other half of her, if that is a thing that actually exists in this game, is a lot more bearable. God, you're annoying. I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence What investigations did she even do? Foundations are rock solid. That's it, House of the Hearth. That's the name of it. Hearth, I guess. There for twa. Do we know about the House of the Hearth? That's the first I've heard about it. Hey, this is all fucking unrelated. God, if only this fucking universe knew about logical fallacies. Ugh, bitches. Ooh. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Yeah. Perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has a How wouldn't he have heard the thud? Hmm, maybe because he was... I don't know. No, everyone in the crowd would have heard it. Never mind. Oh, God. Why is she so fucking into this? I hate her. I hate her so much. Oh no, here's probably where I come up with a nice piece of evidence being, hey, fuck you. God, she's so human. <laughs> what? I wonder what uh, race she is. Curious about that. Yeah, actually, that you didn't. Why didn't we ever. Oh, the Fatui part. I, th I was still thinking about the thud. Lady Farina has raised two points. Mm -hmm. First, when the thud was heard in the opera house, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members. I feel of the like that second part shouldn't August even matter. Like the whole House of the Heart thing is like, okay, that's irrelevant to the case. Like that's just you're basing this off of like your own emotions now. It's like, oh, they work with the Fatui. We are bad guys, I guess. Uh, yeah. Damn, even we're doubting right now. But we like child, so... Not every Fatui is bad. I've been a victim of such schemes before, and now... I mean... Please answer my question, Mr. Lee. I'm sorry. I, yes, I don't care. True, Your Honor. I'm more interested about the thud than the, the, the Fatui part. I knew it! When do I get to jump it? That's God. It. God, doing this with a crowd is so obnoxious. <laughs> Permission to speak, Your Honor. I like you, Nervalet. You're cool. My defense cannot proceed. In that case, what is your request? A brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. Your mom's as good as guilty for sucking dick. He's like, hey! What is there left to discuss? Objection to the defendant calling me out on my mom sucking dick. Um, objection not granted. Shut the fuck up, crowd member. Aw, one hour, goddamn. Oh my god, Farina, you fucking tsundere. Uh, better put on a show for them or something while they have to wait. God, I hate her. I'm still going to pull her because I want every Archon on my team. I remember the days where I was like, oh, Nahida's going to be the gross lolly kid. I don't want to get Nahida. Now I like Nahida more than, uh, well, at least uh, Fiorina. Probably more than Venti, well, too. This is uh -huh. awkward. I didn't think well, that that's Archon would take all that out. fucking, of course, because she's able to investigate outside of the, uh, the place. The opera house. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't come up in everyday ca uh, conversation, so what the fuck? Why are we... But why are they bad guys just for being Fatui? Oh my god, Paimon. I didn't even know our characters knew about the House of the Hearth at this point. Actually, yeah, now that I think the Fatui have done a lot of fucked up things, so I guess it is fair that we just be upset immediately. And Arlecchino's pretty hot. Uh, 
the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. <laughs> Should have just is very started with the Fatui thing. <laughs> transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. But how can we know this isn't just another right. lie? So you be the judge. Heck, if I Heck. Huh. that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. <laughs> this reminds me of the shadow laugh. Huh. You met a Fatus who works as a, music, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, uh, too. Oh, you guys, never mind. Okay. First I thought you were talking about a different Fatui. I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least not in this case. Uh-huh. Please forgive us. I'll forgive you. What about Fremene? Uh where did you actually go while the trick was being performed? We were stealing information from the government. Of course. It's like really confidential information. If you're like, hey, well then they could actually prosecute him. Find out how the oratrice operates. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? So this is all tied into that. Okay, so that's probably what's going on here. Designing this box swap trick. Uh huh. The objective of getting close to the core. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. Uh, only a minute? Damn. The audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. Mm -hmm. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via 15 the seconds is a very brief period of time. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you well, find? Nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Mm -hmm. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one. Was in the it room. a woman being kidnapped, perhaps by the orators? Tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. Sounds like our kidnapped victim. On the way back, I saw the broken face and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it's it. It'd be so much easier if you just started by saying you were a Fatui or a Fatus. The homicide occurred just as you saw. Well, that explains why you didn't hear Why can't we night. just call it an accident? Well, why do you want to understand how the Oratrice because operates? Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal I with the I still think they're crisis. lying about some stuff. Like the they're not on the up and up. I think even this whole trial is a setup just to learn about the, the oratories. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. Yeah, sure you, didn't you didn't. Proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. Sure was. But like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Batui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Hmm. Well, traveler, you decide. <laughs> like I have a choice. I choose to not believe them. I believe in the facts. I will defend you, and justice will be dispensed as it should. Thank you. Thanks for giving us a chance. Oh no, when I say justice, I meant I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, we're gonna have to lie a lot. We need to actually be given an opportunity to present our argument. I haven't gotten to say anything. Uh, we already have all the evidence we need. Yeah, rope, uh, a vase. Uh, <laughs> oh, he had he headed to the chair. Oh yeah, where the thud was missed. Well, I guess it's gonna be fun telling them that they were uh, spying on top national secrets. I'm sure Fiorina would love that, as well as the head of justice. Am I gonna be arrested for like uh, being involved in this? That'd be funny where it's just like you get arrested and then you can't explore the rest of Fontaine because you have to spend all that time in jail. Let us continue the trial. I agree. Let's go. Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction. When do I get a turn? Well, it took an hour, jeez. Well, then, if everyone would lend me their attention. 
at this stage. Let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Objection! He has no uh, perception. Based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. Oh, so we actually have a mechanic involved here now. Use evidence and clues uh, obtained during the investigation. Refute any erroneous assertions of fact and replace them with new inferences. Use your refutations, convince the audience, and obtain more support from the people. The oratress will display such shifts clearly. When you find and refute all incorrect content, you can complete the cycle of refutation and unveil the truth. Okay, let's go. All right, so... Uh -huh. Okay, okay, onwards. That's just such an assumption. God, this system shouldn't be based off of the crowd's opinion. Introduction of new evidence. Put Fiorina to death. What if we put her on trial for bullshit? Too bad she's popular. Making her change clothes? Okay. Just say change her clothes. I was just like really nitpick everything she says. And you assume that Cowl wouldn't take his boss's side? Oh, whatever. I guess that's fair. Bear could just be a nice person. I was under the assumption like, you know, what if he was, uh, you know, an uh, accomplice? Through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the devices such that Cowl's death would be ruled an accident. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. It's the truth behind what happened if you're an idiot. And the crowd goes like, ooh, and then the scales just immediately tip in our favor. And she's like, what the fuck? My people suck. Yeah. What he saw. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So, okay. How does this work? Uh, identify the loophole. Let's see. He headed to his. Oh god. I actually have. Uh, how much I have? Oh good. I don't have a shit ton to go through. I was afraid it was gonna be like every evidence I found. Wait. Hold on. What's this again? Enter the tunnel as a canton begin. That's fair. Uh, from Lenny and no. Identify the loophole was when he did not witness. So refute that. According to Lenny. Mm hmm. Left via the vent after entering the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. Yeah. Linny kidnapped Halsey. However, was Linny really in the tunnel at the time? Can't I just say that same fucking thing? Entrance and exits to the opera house. No. Voice in the oratress, maybe. Young lady's clothes. Uh, must have been confused when he saw them. Strange sound during the magic show. Uh, what was this again? It's just a strange sound? Hold on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kidnap Halsey. How do we prove he was- Wouldn't that be this one? He left the tunnel. Should- Wait, if I- That says it's right, so- Okay, so that's good. Alright, so I'm bad at shit like this, so this is gonna be kind of like touch and go for a moment as far as brain activity is concerned. Uh, bleh, no. What if I just- There we go. I'll just cheat. I didn't think the voice mattered for that part, but whatever. Yeah, and nothing but. Linny knocked Cowl out. The existing evidence indicates that when Linny returned to the tunnel, the crime had already taken place. All Linny saw was... Uh, wait. Wasn't there something about that? The clothes. Refute versus strange sound. Entrance and exits. Try that. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I mean, but uh, Furiano's probably just gonna be like, um, he's just lying. Oh, jeez. Do we have to have Paimon say it? I'm sure, like I said, they're gonna really appreciate that we're trying to steal their their top secret information. Hmm. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. 
So is he Oratrice kidnapping people? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be using. Now. We'll find out why people are disappearing eventually. Probably through another fun mini game like this. Haha, easy. Hey, the scales are balanced. Fuck you, Farina. Successful refutation. I want to see her panic and fuck up. I should have been the one to say it. It should have been me. Oh damn, she's actually keeping her shit together. I kind of thought she'd like fall apart like she always does. Moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. The on-stage equipment was clearly tampered with in a pre-mediated fashion. However, you say that cow bumped into Linny by chance. Dumb bitch. Yeah. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Oh, they have a point. <laughs> they sound disappointed. Oh. That's right, you tell them. And that's why they're partners of no, mine. Don't mention that part. Just keep shouting out things like, Fiorina, you suck. Your logic is flawed. Uh, Nouville is all that you need. Oh. What proof do you have to Do you happen to remember the 35th night of September and how you refuted Lenny's alibi immediately? If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? I thought I just told you he sneaked out. Yeah, he snuck out to go fucking steal things. You claim has now become my weapon. Oh, there's so much. What's going on here? Uh, what am I doing? Which is the evidence that Lenny wasn't in the tunnel when the crime took place. Oh, isn't that just him being like, uh, uh I'm going to steal information. Irrelevant. Oh, at least you're telling me what's the... Oh, I'm missing a clue? Is that... Oh, no. That's bad. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like... I didn't know I could miss a clue. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What is the evidence that Lenny wasn't in the tunnel? On stage magic box trick. No, wouldn't it be, 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 be the magic trick? Irrelevant? Wait, he's just telling me everything that's irrelevant? Oh, okay. It's only the. Oh, 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 open that back up. Oh, oh. Okay, irrelevant. So it's only one of these three. Information about the missing lady's identity. Strange sound. Entrance exits. That one? Wait, like I fucked up? Okay, I did fuck up. Okay, hold on. Okay, those are irrelevant. Do I have to look at these two? Okay, so those are all irrelevant. So I just had bad luck picking a choice of uh, one, two out of three. I guess it'd be the strange sound. Yeah, okay. It was you say literally said that using uh, her own thing against her. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you still wearing those glasses? <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> well played. Woo! To think you'd use such logic. To think you'd use logic in a trial? How dare you? Sentence him to death. I don't fucking know. That's not my job. I'm here to d disprove Linny. Oh, select the gear icons in a corresponding qu Oh, but we don't have an answer. Select answers to fill all the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. If you made any mistakes, you must make another selection from the remaining options. Oh, uh, once you have answered all the questions correctly, you can complete this logic chain. What if it was just an accident? How did the c uh, culprit trigger the onstage accident? They said it was the fire. Okay, if Lenny's no longer under suspicion, one of the other members of the troop would have been able to tamper with the props. Okay, then you gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside a box. The idea was for the box containing the audience member to be transported across via a tunnel underneath, and Lynn himself would also use this tunnel to get to the other side. Having changed your outfit, Lynn and her assistant would take charge of on-stage interactions. Okay. The clothes belong to Halsey. This is just fixing itself, isn't it? The lady who went missing were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. Oh, do I pick a person now? Uh, who's the person I could have picked? Who's this? Oh, well, we, yeah, we're just saying that, right? Yeah, third person. Jeez. Oh, incorrect? What? I thought that was the only thing. Okay. Um, actually, maybe that was right. We do blame... Uh, do we blame... I mean, wouldn't it... Mm, I'm gonna say Halsey, because it seems like she's going off on her own. 
Nope, that's incorrect too. Okay, so we're just blaming Cowl? The deceased's name is Cowl. I just... Lenny's assistant. He Why would he have said it? I don't know, whatever. Fuck, it's the only one, I guess. Yay. <laughs> we did it. It was his fault, I guess. <laughs> 